Hello and hello to all of you guys and girls. How are you? How are you? Welcome to another video for the channel. In this video I'm going to show you how to disable the device manager on your Android. So if you've ever wondered how to do it, stay with me and I'll explain it to you step by step. But before we start, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel so you don't miss any of the videos. That said, let's get on with the tutorial. And the first thing we need is to have our Android phone at hand. Make sure you have it unlocked and ready to set up. Now we're going to go to the settings app. Once inside the settings app on your device, whether it's settings or settings, you'll see a lot of options. What we're going to do is look for the section that says security status. This is an important point, since here we'll find the device manager. When we access security status, we look for an option that says find my device. This is the section that is related to the device manager on Android. And if we try to click here, it won't take us anywhere directly. In my case, it appears to me that it is disabled. For that, to be able to activate or deactivate this option, we have to go to another section. We go to the selection of passwords and security and when we enter there we will see several options related to the security of our device. Now what we are looking for is the section that says privacy and within privacy you will see several options. What interests us is Google Play Protect and Find My Device. This is where we can manage the device manager. And if we touch Find My Device, we will see the option to activate or deactivate this function. If you want to activate it you simply have to click on deactivate. And if what you want is to activate it again, just touch the switch and enable it. In this case, if we decide to deactivate Find My Device, the only thing we will have to do is confirm that we want to disable the function. And with that we will have deactivated the device manager on our Android. And that's it. As you can see, it is a simple and very easy process. If you liked it, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe so you don't miss future tutorials. Greetings and thanks for watching.